Hi, this is going to be a video on my Led Zeppelin cassette collection. I first started collecting Led Zeppelin in the cassette format back in college, and so that's pretty much uh, my familiarity with their catalog. Some of the track lineups are different in the cassettes than the vinyl um, and the CD, which when I got the whole catalog on CD and vinyl, I was a little surprised because I didn't realize that they had messed with the track lineup uh, when they put everything on cassette. So I will go through what cassettes I have and it's going to cover also um, anything by Robert Plant or Jimmy Page that I have as well. So we're going to start off with the first uh, Led Zeppelin album. This has got the red lettering on it. And on this cassette, side two is actually on side one. They reverse the sides, and so I was always um, accustomed to Your Time Is Gonna Come opening up the album. And not that it makes that big a difference, but when it was put on CD, at least, it was a little weird to hear um, Good Times, Bad Times start off the album. I wasn't used to that. This is what the cassette itself looks like, and on uh, none of these are the, uh, there are any, nothing in the uh, inlay card or the J card, they're all just pretty much blank. This is Led Zeppelin II. This is an older copy. I believe this was issued in the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. And the way you know, because I've got another copy here, is there's a barcode on the um, 80s reissue of these, and also, rather than the titles running straight along uh, horizontally. They're actually listed vertically. So in every other way, these two cassettes are identical. This is uh, Led Zeppelin three. They blacked out the uh, pictures that were in the little um, whatever wheel. This was a die cut cover, as you all probably know. And as you spun the wheel, the pictures changed. But unlike the CD, where they actually, um, you know, captured some of the pictures in the holes here, they did not on cassette. It's an 80s pressing of this cassette. Led Zeppelin 4, whatever. I've always just called it Zeppelin 4. And I, I'm going to back up. I meant to say that on Led Zeppelin 2, at the end of side 1, they have Heartbreaker instead of Thank You. Um, and then Thank You starts off side two, so that's the difference in the track listing there. No differences in the track listing for Led Zeppelin 3 or Led Zeppelin 4. That's what the cassette looks like. No difference in the track listing for Houses of the Holy. However, there is a difference in the track listing for Physical Graffiti. At the end of side one, it has Broyar, I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, the, I think that's the only difference. I know it's, side, it's track two on side two, but they just stuck it at the end of side one uh, on this particular cassette. And unlike the other cassettes, the tracks are listed here at the bottom of the cassette horizontally. This is Presence. And they also list the tracks there at the bottom. Not sure why they started doing that on these, but that's what that cassette looks like. And then this is a double cassette. This is The Song Remains the Same. So this was the first cassette, and they look identical. There's nothing different um, on the covers here. 
And interestingly, they have side one and side three on the first cassette, and then they have side two and side four on this cassette. I'm not sure if that's just the way the track lengths or the side lengths worked out. I'm not sure what difference it would have made, actually, so I'm kind of puzzled by that. Um, Dazed and Confused takes up one whole side here. So not a lot of tracks on that one, as you know. This is the cassette for Enter the Outdoor, where they keep the paper bag cover that was used uh, for the original album. The cassette itself. And then the last Led Zeppelin album, Coda. And unlike the other cassettes, there actually is information on the inlay card, which replicates the gatefold of the original album. Next one I have is Robert Plant's Pictures at 11. Which I enjoy, even though the sound is somewhat of a departure from Led Zeppelin sound. It's a little more new wave-ish uh, than, you know, even the stuff on Led Zeppelin's last album. I do enjoy it quite a bit. This one in particular um, looks a lot like the Led Zeppelin cassette. And there is actually some information here, just some credits on the inlay card. And then my fa very favorite Robert Plant album of all time is um, The Principle of Moments. I pretty much wore this cassette out uh, when I first got it. I don't know if you can see it too clearly with the glare there, but this is Big Log and In the Move on it. And then there are some track credits there. I don't know why they couldn't have done this for the Zeppelin catalog, but they did not. Next cassette I have, this is an EP for Little by Little, um, which was off the Shaken and Stirred album. This is on a clear cassette. And I do not have Shaken and Stirred on cassette. This EP has Little by Little, it's a remix, a longer version of the track. It's got a song called Easily Led, which also is 7 minutes and 52 seconds long. It was recorded live in Dallas. It's got a live version of the Honey Drippers track, Rockin' at Midnight. And then um, there's a song called Sixes and Sevens, which was previously unreleased. Now and Zen. This is the clear cassette, and it's got lyrics, and this has Heaven Knows and Long Cool One on it. Robert Plant, Manic Nirvana. This was another one that I wore out listening to when it first came out. And I think the biggest hit off of here was Hurt and Kind, but there's a lot of great stuff on that one. This is Fate of Nations. And this has lyrics. Actually, no lyrics. Sorry, just credits and lots of pictures. I think any of these would have made nice album covers, but... And then for Jimmy Page, actually I should back up and go in chronological order. 
This is the firm cassette. This is sealed, so I'm not able to uh, open it up. But this had radioactive and satisfaction guaranteed with the two hits. So it was Jimmy Page. It was a, I don't know if you call it a super group, but it was Jimmy Page and um, from uh, Bad Company, Paul Rogers. And then Jimmy Page's Outrider solo album, which was his first and only solo album, I think if you don't count the Death Wish 2 soundtrack. So just credits there. And then the last thing I have to show is the Robert Plant and Jimmy Page No Quarter album, which was sort of an unplugged Led Zeppelin uh, covers album. I don't know if you can call it covers, but nonetheless, unfortunately, uh, John Paul Jones not a part of this project. But I think they didn't want it to be a full-on Led Zeppelin reunion. Just the credits there. And that is my Led Zeppelin cassette collection. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody is doing well. Take care. Take care. And be well.